Uh, my name is Annie Murray. I'm a Rare Books and Special Collections Librarian at the University of Calgary. And this is Devotion, Louis Riel Writes Home, an exhibition all summer until September 1st in the Nickel Galleries at the University of Calgary. The collection consists of about 35 letters, 15 of which were written by Louis Riel himself that he sent home during his years of exile away from the Red River settlement, two of his notebooks, and there's also a glass plate negative, a portrait taken of his sisters Octavie and Marie. After the Red River resistance of 1869 and 70, Louis Riel sort of needed to disappear for a while. He, although he was this new hero of the Métis, it was not safe for him to remain in what was now the province of Manitoba that he helped create. So he was often in the United States, staying with family friends, uh, finding work, living on his own, moving around. So he lived in Minnesota, he lived in New York, he lived in Quebec for a while, and then eventually he made it down to Montana. One editor, Gilles Martel, said these are les années obscures, sort of the dark years, where he was in between the big political moments of his life. So this is sort of an insight into what was he thinking at that time, where was he? The answer, all over the place, doing many things, constantly writing, constantly thinking constantly trying to be in touch with his family that he missed very much. Louis Riel shows a magnificent devotion throughout his life to many things. One in, that you really see in the family letters is devotion to his family. He's the eldest of 11 children, so he has a very important role in the family, particularly since his father died when he was a young guy. So he feels this responsibility, this loyalty to his family especially to his mother. And so he writes his mother many letters, but also to his siblings. So he's a very devoted member of this tight-knit, French-speaking Catholic family in Red River. Devotion is up all summer until September 1st. Admission is free, Monday to Friday, nine to four. We've created a sort of intimate environment where you can look at these original letters and notebooks from the 19th century. If you don't read French or cursive, there's translation available so that you can read the full letter that you see. All of the materials have been digitized, transcribed, and translated, so you can check them out online at ucalgary.ca slash riel. You can also come and visit the Glenbow Western Research Centre. You can make an appointment and actually sit down with these originals. So there's three ways to experience Louis Riel collection.